95 percent of the goods that are in this country coming in and going out pass through our nation's ports. And the same is true for the inland waterways. The system that stretches across the country is suffering from age and rapidly growing reliability issues. This category received one of the lowest grades this year. Barges are stopped for hours each day with unscheduled delays, preventing goods from getting to market and driving up costs. Projects to repair and replace aging locks and dredge channels take decades to approve and complete. As far as the ports are concerned, we need deep harbors. We need harbors that basically allow uh, the biggest ships that float to enter and exit uh, fully loaded. We also need infrastructure on the wharf itself. Now with the bigger ships, those wharfs need to be strengthened. Basically, the infrastructure of the inland waterways is the river itself, and those rivers are supported by a series of locks and dams. We've gotten to a point where they're getting very old, they're getting less efficient, and we need to continue to invest and reinvest in order for us to continue to, to have a state-of-art system which will compete on a world stage. If the infrastructure is not improved, uh, we're going to lose 738,000 jobs over the next 20 years. Without action, the costs of congestion and the inability to handle cargo loads will continue to increase and have negative consequences on the nation's economic growth. But this problem is not insurmountable. We need a federal strategy in terms of our inland waterway imports. Uh, there's also the permitting. Uh, if we could streamline that, that would save years off the ability to get these projects off the ground. And we're going to have to engage with our partners that ship goods in and out in terms of the funding of our ports as well as a, an investment at the federal level. We generally look at an eight to one uh, return on investment for every one dollar invested, there's eight dollars that come back to the taxpayers from those investments. You cannot look to the future and just say, I'm going to do nothing and, and hope it gets better. We cannot double the, the exports coming out of this country or trade coming out of this country unless we continue to reinvest in the system. Because our competitors around the world are investing. Whether we are or not, they're going to.